Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're just gonna go through a quick unofficial video. I'm just gonna go through my Christmas list or holiday gift list or whatever. Um, things that I think that I would like for Christmas, which are gonna be on my actual Christmas list. Things I currently have, which I think a lot of quants would enjoy or like or need. And also, a lot of these are going to be books. So for a lot of students, if you're going to school, right, this is going to be your downtime. So if you're studying some extra project, language or something, uh, it's great to get books and things on these topics as this is the time that you will be able to study these and work on these kind of side project and self-learning um, opportunities. First off, here's this t-shirt. Um, I really like it. It is the Lost in a Random Forest uh, t-shirt design here. I bought this on Amazon. I really like it. I'm actually debating on making a whole line of shirts um, and then just selling them online. Um, I'm not sure about it, but I might do it and then have like math, data science, and like financial engineering related like funny shirts kind of like this one. Um, something that kind of appeals to my nerdier side, I guess. Um, so great shirt. This one actually fits really well. It's comfortable. I think the quality is good. It's similar to like if you bought like a Nike shirt or like, I don't know, some great brand shirt. Um, second on the list is this tie. So I'm going to say ties in general, but when you do fashion, I actually recommend getting a polka dotted tie. So this is a like navy one with white polka dots. I have a red one with polka dots. The reason I recommend this is because Polka dots match with almost anything in the sense that most dress shirts that you're going to buy will be plain or they will be like striped or kind of like plaid or something. Um, having polka dots stands out. It's very different. It's very easy to actually get dressed in the morning because I just grab a polka dot tie a lot of times and throw it on without having to think about it. So I think that's one of the great gifts. And I'll put a link to a lot of these below in the comments of areas I recommend buying them from. But in general, I think they're great buys. Um, and then, one more thing before I go into the books uh, is like Rubik's Cubes. I'm a huge cubing fan. I'm not like a speed cuber by any means, uh, but I just like solving different cubes. I have a ton of different cubes. Uh, I'll put links to these ones as well. This brand is Mo Fang Yi. Uh, these are my favorite cubes. They slide really well. Um, solving like five by fives and three by five threes is similar. Uh, I have a four by four and a bunch of other cubes. They're really cheap, so it's great to put on a gift list if you're looking to like put something like a list for your parents or a friend or I don't know, something. Somebody asks and you need something cheap. Cubes are cheap, they're good quality ones. I really enjoy them. I've had them for many years and I get new cubes almost every year. Um, it's kind of a challenge with different types of cubes. So I highly recommend these if you're into like brain teasers and kind of problem solving. And then for the books here I'm gonna dive into. So the first two books are kind of finance topics. Uh, the first one is Models Behaving Badly by Emmanuel Derman. Uh, and I'll put a link to this below as well. It's one of my favorite books. It's more of like a casual read, but it kind of gives you insight into like the modeling world, insight into some of the issues we have in the industry, um, but also being like a light read. It's not like a lot of math and like intense textbook reading. One of my favorite books of all times. Uh, and then the second one here I'm gonna mention is uh, Fisher Black and the Revolutionary Idea of Finance by Perry Merling. Uh, this book is about Fisher Black. I personally think he is great. He's done a ton for finance. I think he's probably the brightest mind to have ever existed in finance. Um, anyways, this book shows a lot about his life, his struggle. Um, it shows a lot of like the intricacies of being a quant, things that are difficult, especially in a time when quant wasn't well accepted. Um, I think this is an amazing book if you have the time to buy it. Again, both these books are fairly cheap. And then the last two books on this list are going to be The Art of R Programming. Um, I'm actually going to be covering a lot of material from this book in video format. So if you don't wanna buy the book, it's fine. You'll learn a lot of this just from watching my videos as we get going. Um, but I like this book better than the other R books that I've seen and I've worked in for the sole purpose that it's more of a programming book. Like I just need to know how to use R really well. I don't care which function or which package is going to create something. Using packages and libraries and all that is super easy, like anyone can do it. Um, but actually being able to program more like a computer scientist and less like a data scientist or a statistician, um, I think being able to hard program very well is an important skill for quants. Um, this is one of my favorite books in R. I've looked through a lot of it. I've read a bunch of chapters here and there, but again, I'm going back through it. And then the second book here, I don't actually have, it's on my list. I'm hoping it's good. On Amazon here, it's Mastering Python, Machine Learning, Data Structures, 
um, yada, 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 the title's super long, but it's project-based Python. I think this will be more helpful in learning Python even better. I think it'll give more of a dynamic view. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna use this book and I'm hoping it's good. It's actually on my Christmas list, like I said. Another thing, again, not quant focused. I'm a huge like sciencey nerd. Uh, I have honeybees, I read a lot about honeybees. I usually have honeybee books and things. But this year I have The World Atlas of Coffee from Beans to Brewing. Uh, coffee is explored, explained, and enjoyed. I like coffee a lot. Um, again, I like to garden and grow things. So this book is on my top list uh, for Christmas this year. And then two more books, more casual reads. So I kind of lied, there's more books on here. Uh, is Neil deGrasse Tyson's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. I watch a lot of videos with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I really enjoy like his personality and the way he talks about topics and theories and thinks about things. Um, so I'm just gonna give this book a read as a casual read this year. It's on my Christmas list as well. Uh, I think it'll be a good read, something fun, something different to do. And again, something different than finance, but something somewhat related through the math and sciences. But again, something very nerdy, kind of quant-like. And then the final one on this list is the Advances in Financial Machine Learning. I'm a little hesitant to buy the book, but I think it'll be really good. It'll give a different perspective and hopefully I can take what they've done and their knowledge and kind of put a banking spin on it because I'm assuming a lot of this is for the trading realm and the investing side. But I think this will be a great read. It's something interesting that's related to quantitative finance and data science, something a little bit new, cutting edge, and something fun to read. Um, but anyway, those are my recommendations for gifts. I hope you guys like them. I hope it's a wide kind of variety of things that aren't just necessarily textbooks because a lot of us just don't have time to read a lot of books. Uh, but again, fashion are things that'll help you in interviews and jobs, like having a tie. T-shirts are fun. Oh, and also a big shout out, if you go to a university or school, it's always easy to put like a sweatshirt or like a t-shirt, so I have my Michigan sweatshirt on. Um, but those are easy gifts as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.